guys we want to look at tuberculous uh, osteomyelitis right in this video so definitely you know this much it is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis correct and uh, it is seen in developing countries definitely just because i mean uh, it is easy to know because tuberculosis is more found in developing countries so mycobacterium tuberculosis is the bacteria bacilli tubercle bacilli it affects young adults more now what happens this bacilli it will reach the bone marrow and synovium so how will it reach it will reach hematogenously it will reach okay and it can also by direct extension it can reach okay lungs usually what will happen the blood will be uh, sent back to the heart and from there probably it will reach the bone so hematogenous usually from lungs and direct extension will be pulmonary again is lungs no gastrointestinal tuberculosis not sure but direct extension you can go for gastrointestinal so what and all are affected spine and bones of extremities are affected okay what will happen if spine is affected it is called as spots disease here you can explain the uh, microscopy definitely you will explain caseous necrosis epithelioid cells granuloma giant cells langhans giant cells etc okay so then the same thing as os the pyogenic osteomyelitis you can write there will be um, a sinus discharging sinus okay uh, it will involve the joint space intervertebral discs are also involved all that what are the extra points you will have to write same thing only whatever you have seen so far tuberculous osteomyelitis just writing these points so that you will not forget to write them in the exam okay so granuloma you will explain in the microscopy then discharging sinus okay through soft tissue and skin all this is standard you will write then joints are involved and even the intervertebral discs are involved okay these are the extra four points there in the textbook moving on now pots spine okay this is important guys in the exam they have asked this this will be under the tuberculous uh, uh, osteomyelitis here what happens if the spine is affected it is called as pots disease tuberculosis of the spine is also called as pots disease okay often commences in the vertebral body see this commences in the vertebral body but if you have seen in the pyogenic osteomyelitis it commences in the discs and then it moves to vertebral body just go back and check there see here in the pyogenic osteomyelitis this point number 8 first the discs are affected then the vertebral bodies are involved however it is reverse in pots disease correct because in the vertebral bodies are affected first in pots disease that is what they are telling here we are just repeating what is there in the textbook commences in the vertebral body pyogenic first discitis right so not sure if this is true but we are seeing a reverse what they have explained in the textbook so we will just keep it as a small point it may be associated with compression fractures can be associated with compression fractures because uh, vertebral column right there can be compression fracture destruction of the intervertebral disc producing permanent damage and paraplegia oopsie even paraplegia because of compression right paraplegia paraplegia means what both the limbs lower limbs will be affected correct extension of caseous material along with pus from the lumbar vertebrate to the sheaths of psoas muscle produces psoas abscess or lumbar cold abscess the cold abscess may burst through the skin and form sinus so psoas muscle is affected right 
where is that diagram that they are talking about 26.4 point b is this the one 26.4 point b yeah pus extending anteriorly prolapsed disc collapsed vertebra intact vertebra collapsed vertebra it has collapsed because of a prolapsed disc pus extending anteriorly this is the spinal process of the vertebra and this is the spinal cord correct so what are they trying to say here in spots this uh, spine just wake up guys if in case you are sleeping please wake up they are trying to study the spots disease okay so here what will happen tuberculosis of the spine is called a spots disease here the first thing that gets affected is the vertebral body first to get affected it can be associated with compression fracture of the vertebra the intervertebral discs will get destroyed and there will be permanent damage oopsie permanent damage paraplegia means both the lower limbs will be losing sensation motor caseous material along with pus they can extend from the lumbar vertebrae to the sheets of the psoas muscle and if it affects the psoas muscle it will it will produce psoas abscess so only the lumbar vertebrae guys the lumbar vertebrae do you know where it is touch and see lumbar vertebrae where it is you know where the lumbar vertebrae are right from there it will go to the psoas muscle and produce psoas abscess or lumbar cold abscess it has some specific terms psoas abscess or lumbar cold abscess the cold abscess may burst through the skin and form sinus see okay so all this about pots disease pots spine guys pots spine itself the next topic is also pots spine only then don't think it is something else okay so this covers uh, tuberculous osteomyelitis guys let's revise tuberculous tuberculous osteomyelitis seen in developing countries and young adults uh, caused by tubercle bacteria mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, the bacteria will reach the bone marrow and synovium it is usually coming via the hematogenous spread from lungs or it can be direct extension from gastrointestinal tuberculosis the spine and the bones of extremities are affected if the spine is affected then um, it is called a spots disease what will you see in uh, tuberculous osteomyelitis you will see granuloma so there can be discharging sinus via the soft tissue or the skin the joints can be involved and intervertebral discs are also involved coming to pots spine uh, tuberculosis of the spine is called a spots disease it often commences in the vertebral body there can be compression fracture destruction of the intra intravertebral discs and there can be permanent damage and paraplegia okay so the there is if it is in the lumbar vertebrae there can they can it can affect the psoas muscle causing psoas abscess and there can it is also called as lumbar cold abscess it can also burst and come out through the skin and you know there can be a sinus okay the pus okay the pus can come out through the skin that's all for now see you bye bye bye